Hey. Hmm? Why don't you have Moon Tree protect you? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You've got those really strong looking PKers after you. <laughs> Moon Tree is a guild that supports the abolishment of PKs. And part of their mandate includes helping PK victims out. Moon Tree, huh? Oh, them. You want me to beg those hard headed dorks to protect me? Forget about it. I'd rather be PK'd than be protected by all those lecturing loudmouths. Seriously, who makes a charity group in a game? Haseo? What's wrong? How long have you been standing there? <gasps> what? You got a problem? Look, Haseo, you don't understand anything about Moon Tree, okay? We're just trying to make the world a more enjoyable place. We just want to reach an understanding with everyone. I mean, doesn't everyone feel like being nice to someone sometimes? We want to protect those feelings. We want to be able to protect those feelings. But everyone likes to make fun of us, saying we're just some charity group or some cult. We just want to improve, together with everyone else! We are not here to lecture anyone! Do you get it? Do you understand? Do you, Haseo? Uh... You... Please, take this! Huh? I'm going to do everything within my power to explain Moon Tree to you. I want you to better understand who we really are. Wait, don't I get a say in this? Hey. Yes? So, how did you even recognize me anyway? I mean, I don't look anything like I used to before. Well, I guess it's because you're still you. Huh? It's true that I didn't recognize you at first, but soon after that, I realized it was you. Sakaki's calling me, so I have to get going now. But I'll tell you a lot more about Moon Tree next time. Was she a member of Moon Tree? That's great! If you're friends with a Moon Tree member, the PKers are bound to leave you alone. Man. Even though she's got the same face and everything, she's definitely not Shino. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Well, that was all really interesting. Okay, we're gonna head for another area. How about you, Haseo? No, I, uh... Okay, got it. Well, if you need anything, just call us. We'll help you out. See ya. <laughs> Later. God, I'm so beat. What was that about? And what about that woman and the dangerous power she talked about? I'll log out and check my email or something. Welcome back. What a way to make a friend. They totally rip you a new one, and then give you their member address. Also, hint hint nudge nudge, I guess I'll log out and check my email or something. Alright, so... First things first, I'm gonna do a really quick save. And there we go, we're all saved up. Now let's log out. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Log out! Oh wow, four emails. People are busy, aren't they? Oh, there's more on the community forum. You know we'll be going through that. First, email time. Ah, new member addresses. 
Oh, look at that, Adelie. Loves small birds, enjoys chatting with Moon Tree members. Nice to meet you! Syllabus. Wanted a new cell phone and G-powered 9 graphics card and advanced M2D. I got your back. And Gaspard. Favorite thing? Napping. Favorite food? Paella. You know, I don't even actually know what paella is. I'll have to look that up. Eat avocado. Nato Haseo. Stay with me. Weird. But you can see they have a little, uh, they have a little heart, so that's, uh, that's how much they like you. Let's look at these emails finally. Syllabus quest new. Aseo, would you like to try taking on a quest with us? You may already know this, but quests are like part-time jobs for players. Basically, there are people in the world who have problems, and we help them out. By completing quests posted at the quest shop, you'll receive a reward that matches the content of the quest. So you'll be able to not only level up, but earn money at the same time. Smiley face. If you're interested, there's a quest shop near the warp point in the central district of Makanu. Right now, you can probably take on a quest called the Crown Quest. If you're up to it, invite Gaspard and me. We'll be happy to help you out. Definitely will. My gosh, two emails. Did you need to? Alright, subject. No way! Thanks for adventuring together with me. I would never have thought you were the real terror of death. I've heard a lot about you. This was the fourth time I've been targeted by PKers. I'm just glad I didn't actually die this time. Rotful. What's that T for? Oh, right. <laughs> Never mind. So, what are you gonna do now? It must be really rough having to start from scratch again. Oh, I can send back. Dum -ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum. So you can- you get the choice between two things and you can kind of see what each one is. So this one would say, there's no need for me to say what I'm going to do next. So, what did you hear about me? That's probably not going to up the friendship level like I was showing before. Leveling up? I'm going to level up. Otherwise, I can't even walk around the world without feeling inadequate. I honestly don't know which one's better. Probably this one. Gaspard! So, you really were the terror of death! I was so surprised! I wonder how many times I've been PK'd by now. Lol, apparently, beast race characters are really easy targets. Something like, I don't feel bad about killing it because it's just a dumb animal. Sad face. If there's anything Syllabus or I can do to help, just let us know. Yeah, that's sad. Don't hurt animals. Never. Oh, right. Send back. If you find anything about Triage, let me know. Or, I don't have any business with you! That's obviously the rude thing. No, try edge. Oh, look, it's the old hag, as he called her. This is Pi. Remember this. This is basically a repeat of what we went over before. But don't forget, your character hides a very dangerous power. We're the only ones who are capable of controlling that power. Huh. Just who are you anyway, lady? Do you not get how cryptic you sound? Or... Who do you think you are, showing up out of nowhere and spouting off nonsense? Get out of my face! Nah, I wanna know who she is. Alright, well it sounds like we're gonna be doing some questing with Syllabus. Okay, let's log in and uh... Go do that crown quest with Syllabus and Gaspard. Memoirs. Memoir records your past actions and contains clues to your next objective. Select memoir from the main menu when you are unsure or unclear about your next objective. I'm not sure if I'm not clear. No, I think I'm clear. Uh, there it is. Alright, crown quest. Kick the king chim chim. Catch the crown. Client Dr. Kubo, reward text of wisdom. Suggested level 5. 
I want someone to get the chim chim crown for me. Okay. Delta server chasing Cupid's phantom. Da -da -da. Let's do it. There we go. Now we can accept. To be taking this quest, please wait just a moment. I have expected voice acting, so I didn't say anything right away. <laughs> Hello? This is the quest shop. Thank you for your patronage. We have some adventurers here who have accepted your quest. <laughs> My name is Kubo. Dr. Kubo, that is. My research relates to Chim Chims. What? What kind of research? Well, now, that's a secret. I can't tell you that. Hmm? Anyway, I want you to retrieve the Chim Crown for me. Have you ever met King Chim Chim? He is a giant Chim Chim that rarely appears. As his name implies, he has a magnificent crown on his head. I want that crown. I have a few ideas on where King Chim Chim is likely to show up. I want you to go there and get the Chim Crown. I've prepared plenty of rewards for you, so do your best. It's pretty difficult to kick the king. King Chim Chim? Isn't that the huge one? Yes, that is that is the huge one. Okay. Warp to avoid walking? Whoa, yeah, that's right, I warped right on top of you. Get warped on. Okay, let's see here, warp menu, da da da, there it is. I guess we should start looking for places where King Chim Chim could be hiding. King Chim Chim attacks by jumping on you, so watch out. I wonder where he is. Okay, as promised, this time I will be editing the battles. That way you can figure out which way you like it better. It honestly might be better to have it edited. God, I forget how many chims we have. Do we have enough to open this door? Probably. 105. Yeah, I think we're okay. Oh, but that is a new type of enemy. So, as per request, I can show you new types of enemies. Oh, God. Yeah. Ow. Oh, dear. <laughs> These blue lion guys. It's pretty kind of cool. What did they ever do to us? They were in my way. Oh, he's still not dead. Interesting. Oh, he dead now. Oh, now I'm level 5. Good stuff. Alright, moving on. Uh, let's see where we're going. Probably want to go down this way first. Oh, boy. Or did I want to go this way first? Kind of interesting. I'm gonna get some chims for a little bit. Alright, I think we got enough chims. This dungeon layout is kind of interesting. Whoa! That's him. What's that? It's a new way. Haseo, it's a new way. We've got to kick it. Huh? Um, Haseo? 
King Chim Chim will show up if you kick the Nue. What? So, we just need to kick it. Oh, that's not going to be as easy as it seems. Okay, so it's a lucky animal. This is a mysterious animal known as a lucky animal that lives in this area. Approach it and kick it to receive various blessings. However, there are unlucky animals as well that bring bad luck. They have the angry symbol on top of their heads. Ugh. No problem. Leave it to me. Come on, King. Huh. How do we get this guy? This is King Chim Chim. If you kick King Chim Chim, he will get angry and attack you. Repeatedly kick him and evade his attacks to defeat him. If you do, you will receive massive amounts of Chim Spheres. Sounds good. About time. Let's get it over with. Hand that over. Oh boy. Oh, he's mad. Get kicked. I think this used to be harder on PS2 um, because the run speed was much slower originally. There we go, we got him. There's something on the ground. Jim Crown. I knew you could do it. Phew! I thought we were gonna turn into pancakes. <sighs> we need to go to the quest shop. Quest complete. Report back to the quest shop. Oh, no. Simple necklace. Oh, you're back already? That was fast. Hand it over Crim Chown. Wow. Hand it over Chim Crown. Thanks, Lestexia. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is the Chim Crown, all right. I'm surprised you were able to retrieve it so quickly. <laughs> How would you feel about doing some work on the side for me? There's something I want you to help me with. My home is in the mercenary district. It doesn't matter when, but please come visit. We'll discuss the details when you do. Farewell! Quest complete! Text of Wisdom. Alright, well we finished and we have new mail. Uh, I guess we better log out and check what that new mail is. There's an important unread email in the mail station. There are new mails. Well, four of them, holy. That's the important one. Oh, CC Corp. Dear Haseo, thank you for your regular patronage to the world. This is to inform you that you can now participate in the Chim's Kicker campaign. For details, please talk to the NPC client Dr. Kubo. Dr. Kubo's house is in Makanu's Mercenary District. Adelie. Since you insisted, I decided to email you. There's an area that I love and I was wondering if you would like to join me. The area is Delta Submissive Tragedies Thousand Oaks. Sincerely, Adelie. Looks like we'll be going there next! Hokuto to Lena. Oh, who is this? Have you been, Lena? Been doing alright? Things been going terrible with my real life as usual. Ruffle. I know it's summer vacation for students right now, but how are you doing with preparation for entrance exams? You're into science, right? That's amazing! For a literary major like myself, I just respect anyone that can do math. So how did your meeting with the guidance counselor go? Personally, I just chose my college because one of the professors here wrote one of my favorite books. This is something I haven't told either to him or my parents. So in a way, I did have a very specific goal when I came here. Of course, your major is going to be different from mine, so I guess my opinion won't be much help. Sorry. Still, I don't think there are that many people at all who go to college with a specific goal in mind these days. I think it'd be great to figure out what it is you want to do during the four years you're there. In my case, I still don't know what I want to do even after turning the big 3-0. Although, I was still able to become a translator. While I was in college, I majored in Western and Celtic literature. You know, 
since the previous version of the world was built around a Celtic theme, even down to the music, so that's probably why I liked it so much. It's too bad that the current The World is pretty far removed from its origins based on Emma Will Willens' worldly pers- Based on Emma Willens' worldly perspective of the epitaph of Twilight. By the way, how's your big brother doing? Did he finally give up on basketball and start studying for his entrance exams? A lot of people used the version upgrade as an opportunity to kick the habit. I don't know what happened to all of those former dot hackers, but I'm sure they're doing all right. Hey, maybe some of them changed their characters and are still playing. Well, right now I'm stuck in the house every day working on a translation of overseas mystery novel. Things are the same with her as they've always been. We're as indifferent toward each other as ever. Sorry, I'll stop talking about her. But once I get started, the complaints will never stop. Raffle. Okay, take care, Lena. Give my best to your brother, too. If you ever come to college here in Tokyo, let's be sure to meet up. Okuto. This guy... Uh, that is not me. And I can't reply. Okay, well, thank you. I am not Lena, but, uh, cool. Well done. Well, have you calmed down a bit since then? I feel like I've managed to get back to my life. I do feel kind of lonely at not being able to log into the world though, but since I refuse to let Kazu play online games, I can't justify playing them myself. Are you playing together with Orca, or was Orca banned just like Kazu? Back then I didn't have any ideas as to what was going on, I was just plowing ahead, doing whatever was set before me to do. I'm so glad we managed to resolve it. So here's why I'm emailing. I wanted to say this when we had that offline party, but I wasn't able to work up the courage. I'm glad I got to know you. Sure, it was a surprise when I found out you were younger than me, and when I saw you acting so insecure, I may have yelled at you a bit, but if it wasn't for you, I think I never would have been able to help Kazu. If I had tried to help him all by myself, I might have ended up just like he did. I think it was because you were there that I was able to go as far as I did. I think it was because you were there that I was able to make it to the end. So let me say this back to you now. If you hadn't been there, I could never have done it. Thank you. I think I might be in love with you. Psych! I might still log in from time to time. If I do, I hope you and I can have a nice, normal adventure together. Okay, this might be just stuff from the previous game. Or the previous .hack series. Which I didn't have a chance to finish. So maybe it's just sort of bonus stuff. Okay, well, looks like we'll be going to see Adelie here. I'll save that for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Take care.